Hi YouTube, it's Andrew from moneymental.co.uk here, the website dedicated to money and mental health. Um, today I'm coming at you with a video um, update on the Money Mental £3,000 Charity Shop Challenge. Um, for those of you unfamiliar with the challenge, it's basically where I take a sum of money, um, spend it on stock from the charity shops, sell that stock on eBay, reinvest the profit I make, um, or half the profit I make and the original purchase price, um, gradually grow my stock and the money I make, half of the, all the profits I make on each sale go into a savings account and the intention is to get that savings account up to £3,000 from its current figure of zero. Uh, once we've got that £3,000 I will be taking a holiday to America. So yeah hopefully that makes sense. Basically in simple terms I'm, I'm turning just under £100 into £3,000. So yeah, that's the challenge. Um, I promised I'd give a sales update. So the last video, which you um, can find on my channel, shows you the stock I bought. I'd initially sort of gone out of a hundred pound budget. I'd ended up spending about eighty pounds of that budget. So I've still got about twenty pounds left in the, uh, in the in the sourcing budget. And uh, when that sourcing budget goes up to fifty pounds, I'll be going out to the charity shops again to get more stock. But yeah, the last video was all about what I picked up. It was a haul video. This one, sort of a couple of weeks later, is about um, what I've sold so far. Um, three sales so far from the uh, charity shop items. Um, they're not in order, actually, of, of when the sales came. Uh, well, they are. They're in reverse order, actually. So the most recent is first. Um, so I sold this yesterday, this uh, 1999 barbie four-seater blue car it's quite rare there were no other ones on ebay um took a few pictures of it as you can see um it's in good condition for its age apart from missing i can't see it but you're missing uh wonder wing mirrors there yep you can see it there and um i think as well yeah the fuel cap cover which is just there is missing as well but because it was the uh, only one up on ebay um, I priced it high at £30. Um, I know somebody had listed one in the past, £20 that hadn't sold. But uh, and there were no sort of no sort of sold history on this. So I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll aim high for £29.99. But realistically, I was thinking I'll probably get, you know, maybe £20 if I'm lucky. Um it cost me four pounds, um, uh, which is normally more than I'd pay for a for a Barbie car, but I knew there was still profit in it, even at, at four pounds. Normally, I'll try and pay one or two pounds at most. But yeah, had it listed um, within about a week of being listed. Um, I had an offer of twenty pounds for it, which I was more than happy to accept, as I felt that was probably the top end I was going to get anyway. So four pounds turned into twenty pounds, giving me. We'll just bring up the spreadsheet, giving me um, five pound twenty-five towards the £3,000 target and £9.25 to reinvest in stock because that's another £5.25 plus the £4 original purchase price. The total profit on this item was £10.52 in all. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pleasing to see that go and pleasing to see some money entering the kitty for the holiday. Uh, next, this is, uh, I don't know what happened here. Um, it's Age of Empires 2, the Conqueror's Expansion Pack, and Age of Empires, Age of Kings, uh, dual case CDs. Um, just in their, their um, dual cases, nothing else with them. Um, and as uh, I said there, um, as pictured. However, looking at the listing now, I, I can't see the pictures I've taken. They're not come up, so I don't know whether that's a glitch on eBay or whether I'd forgotten to put the pictures entirely. Uh, but either way, somebody paid £11.99 for these. Um, so, uh, yeah, they cost me, I think, about 86p each from memory. Um, I'll just, was only a spoiler then, you need to sort what my next sale was. Um, 83 pence each they cost, so £1.86 in all. So £1.86 into £11.99 gives me sort of £5 for reinvestment and £3.50 for the savings part. So that's slowly sort of going up. And then the next item, which again I paid a bit more 
than I would normally do so far but I knew that it would sell quickly was this uh, Boppet Extreme 2 cost me £3.50 um, I knew that it would be lucky to get £15 again but I, uh, I priced it high at 19.99 and unpredictably I had an offer of £15 for it which again I was more than happy to accept since the going rate on these at the minute is about 12 or £13 so that, that sort of gave me again £3.50 for the kitty and £7 to reinvest so when if you look at the, the overall figures we've got obviously 19, £19.59 pence left in the reinvestment fund from our initial spend and now another £21.25 to add to that so we're just over £40 which means I'm £10 off going and doing another sourcing trip and of course I'll, I'll, I'll film do a whole video to show what I've got and I'm £12.25 towards my £3,000 target uh, it doesn't sound like a lot but the more that the stock builds up uh, the quicker and the more I reinvest the quicker that figure will grow um, also I said I'd get everything listed in 24 hours I haven't done so I've had a few other things a couple of other projects and, and stuff with work crop up so I'm behind on the listings so from the original haul um, sorry those golf shoes are listed I'll just correct that uh, the Thomas Brooks quote isn't listed the M&S trousers aren't listed the BT phone isn't listed I'm still waiting for just correct that I'm still waiting for um, a cable for that um, the Barbie car obviously is listed because that's sold um, the wool turner figure is listed I'll just amend that the atmosphere isn't listed yet the, the badminton racket isn't listed yet the remote isn't uh, these sorry I should make this more clear these are the HO model train sets don't you just love doing live updates to your spreadsheets while you're supposed to be filming a uh, YouTube video great viewing here people great viewing um yep so the badminton racket isn't listed the big button remote not yet listed I um, still need to test that to confirm it's in working order the two model train sets that I picked up still need listing the St Michael's jumper needs listing I was going to list it for 19.99 uh, I've now been told it's an Aaron jumper which apparently makes it even better so I'm going to try that for 29.99 the surface type cover 2 still needs um, cleaning and testing before that gets listed I think the Mickey Mouse cap is listed so we've still got what did I pick up I picked up 2 to 25 I picked up 24 items and I've still got 1 two three four five six seven eight nine ten items to list so those will be listed by the end of the week and hopefully they'll sell through fairly quickly um the other items that have been listed for a bit that haven't sold yet i'm going to i'm going to lower those prices on them a bit um you can see i already take took off a, a pound from the um Age of Empire stuff because that was on at 12.99, knocked it down for 11.99. Um, yeah, really don't know what happened with the photos on on that one. Um, I'm sure the buyer will be fine anyway. They've had the, the, they will have had the um, order by now, and I've not heard any comeback from them. And I have listed in the uh, description that it was just games and its jewel cases. So, you know, I'm, I'm confident that I'll be okay on that front. But um, yeah, just. Uh, weird that there were no uh, pictures appearing there especially as I mentioned in the whole video that I'd looked at some other souls and they'd had like the blonde discs and stuff in their pictures so yeah crazy but there you go you live and learn um, so yeah these other items uh, that aren't listed I will get them listed the stuff that is listed I'll probably start to drop the price in the next sort of couple of days um, just to get them sell sold because I always start off listing things high and then um, with offers on and then sort of gradually work the price down until we hit that sort of sweet spot and get a sale so yeah uh, that's been a quick update for you uh, as I say sort of positive news in terms of we've got some sales coming through now that kitty's starting to build up and the reinvestment pot is already at £40 so it's actually doubled uh, already and that's only off the back of free sales so you know
the other stuff goes, it's going to be looking really, really healthy and a really good uh, financial position to be in. In fact, if you added up the 21 and the 30, I'm already nearly halfway towards getting the £80 I invested back as well. So all the figures are sort of shaping up. So I'm really pleased with that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, as I say, there will be a, another update. The next update will probably be a haul video uh, because I imagine it won't be long before I hit that £50 figure. And then uh, there'll be another sales video after that as well. So yeah, speak to you all soon. Goodbye. Oh, where's the stop?